it's not that YouTuber. Okay? That, that YouTuber, we we need to take a uh, two more ones in order to release the is it two more one or something. Okay, in order to release the specification. Now we uh, try to look uh, further how to establish uh, a web app. Okay, so uh, I I'm preparing the next set of slides. So the next set of slides will be uh, only up until the um, I guess tonight at five o'clock something like that. Okay. So, uh, well, last time uh, already I already received an email saying that, wow, what, what you're doing is uh, just, like, uh, just like something that uh, is it too horrible or too hard, okay? So I would say that uh, last time I, I used a shell script, okay, in order to demonstrate things. Today I will also share, uh, show a shell script thing. Basically, um, let me revise a bit. The program behind the screen, behind your server, whether it is a fog and execute or not, maybe you are already heard of uh, some kind of uh, deployment mode. Uh, this is called CGI mode. Another is called fast G CGI mode. If you are no Python, there is another mode called WSGI. So basically, it's not um, anything special. Okay. So the basic, uh, I mean, basic thinking is the server create a process and the process run your program. That's all. It's totally different from uh, running a uh, PHP, okay. PHP is another thing, but right now, like a uh, uh, Python uh, framework, okay, that will be the same thing. It's execute a program, and that program take two guys. One is the environment variable. Last time I showed you the environment variable, basically contain two uh, very interesting. Okay, where is it? Not this. Okay, where is my page? Hey, whoa! Do you look Okay. Ah, here, here. Okay, so last time I show you something that the environment variable containing uh, the information of your browser, which is, uh, wow. Ah, this is the, the correct height, okay. So the user agent tell you uh, what, what I'm using, you can see this there, as well as uh, there is uh, some other things, like uh, uh, what is the URL that you are queuing, so on and so forth. Now the, the thing is encoded inside the environment variable. Another way to get the input is from standard input. And the standard input later on we'll talk about when you touch the post method. Post method will be uh, using standard in. Okay, well I know this is, this is the boundary. Okay, I cannot cross. Okay, so uh, if you have uh, taken a look at the HTTP protocol, so the protocol contains a header. Now basically what is the header being a uh, return to the user, okay? So very basic, two, okay? One is, I mean, uh, the header itself. Only two important entity. One entity is the content type, okay? And another entity, where is my laser? Laser, laser, oh, here. Okay, good. Okay, so another entity is the body. Last time what I have shown uh, using the shell script is basically saying that, oh, the content type I now changed into JPEG, and then I produce an output. The content itself is the very colorful picture, okay? Showing all the content on the picture so that the browser know how to display that and what to display. Now, what is going on is uh, what we have talked about last time about a web counter. Now, basically, I should last time show a professor don't know how to write a web counter. Okay, and now I want to ask you one question. Uh, last time I already uh, tell you that I will ask you how to answer this. What? 28? Last time it's 22. So only six guys wasted the, because of my code. Uh. Okay, you, you think you okay, okay. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, how? Do you have ever think of weight? If everything of weight that you know, this is the web page. This is the web page. I can uh, show it to you. This is only a simple, lonely web page, right? Okay. This is a frame. I use an iframe. Okay. You can uh, take a look here. This is the hyperlink. Okay. If you know the hyperlink, copy and then paste. That it basically we turn it to strings. Okay. So if it is going to be a web counter. Can you display that? Can you put it into your web page and become the component of a web page? Is there any way? Any idea? Very easy. Basically, it's, uh, I, 
asset anyways. No method. No method. Then, then I mean, uh, I mean, uh, our our web industry will be going to collapse. Okay, it means oh, no one know how to add a web calendar. A method. Iframe. How about add iframe? In your page, lower iframe. The iframe is so happen to put it in the right position. So in there, like, oh, the visitor is so many things. So uh, when you load the page, basically you are forced to load that iframe. Any other ideas? Any ideas? Ajax. Yeah. Ajax. What? Ajax. Ajax. <coughs> okay. Good. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, this already uh, beyond what I talk about. Good. Ajax. Okay. Some some others methods like uh, some some people will already heard of a server side include any way to do a server side include like this, but uh, it's also another out of our scope topic. Okay, so this is it. Uh, well, basically, is to uh, invoke a program, generate your output, and the output is so heaven depends on the content of the test file. Okay, I guess you should have no problem, right? Now, uh, there is a one concern. The concern is, uh, I would say that our department is doing a very good job. In a good job of what? You're never aware of this. If you have a host web hosting experience, you host others codes, you host others program, then you will have this problem encounter. So what is this problem? The problem is when this what? Why? What? I'm shocked. What's that? <laughs> and you can try one. <laughs> right. And this is only PDF. I don't know why. I'm okay. okay. It's just shock. Okay. So uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a server we would take. Okay. <laughs> then uh, well, who execute this? Um, I will say that the ultimate user that will be running this this guy will be a guy usually in the Ubuntu. It's called www minus data, dot, dot, dot data, okay? Some older system will use a no body. The account name is called no body. Or account name is called www minus data. It so happened that it, it, it is for um, security concern. I don't want a web server running as a root so that uh, you launch a CGI program, a CGI program only execute one thing, rm minus rf slash, okay? So if that's the case, then uh, the whole server will be gone. Now this is a protection, and usually once you install a Linux, no matter you are buying a service from AWS or you install by yourself, it's all like this, okay? So what is the problem? The problem is the CGI program that got executed will also using the same user, called WW minus data, is just an ordinary user, no special privilege. Now, what is the problem? The problem is the previous diagram here doesn't work because the test file may be owned by another user, like uh, I'm a TY1, okay, I'm a TY1, I create a file. That file is created by me, so there is a no privilege for me to write unless I change mode that TXT file in the 777. Okay, but I guess uh, no one wants this to make it a globally accessible. So our department has used one very important uh, library. So that's why I said the CSD department only. Well, let me try again. Oh, it works. I, I don't know what happened. Okay. So uh, our department do do something like this. Okay. If you are in, I mean, uh, you are doing web hosting. Or you didn't try this before, I encourage you to try that you install Apache, okay, you install Apache, and Apache allow one execution mode. This execution mode has a special module. The module is called mod SUEXT. So what is the prerequisites? The prerequisites is after you install this, the web server will be executed by roots, not by WW minus data. So now it becomes root, but how I said it is the WW 
uh, data is more secure than using the roots. Now, what happened if you have installed this uh, mod underscore SUDACC is under Apache. After you install this, every CGI program executed okay, will be using the privilege of that file, under, let's say it's under uh, my directory. So it will be using my, my uh, privilege, my user, to own execute this. So our department has used, has used this, so whenever you write every uh, script like a PHP, CGI, whatever things you have, then you didn't need to concern anything because it's automatically execute this CGI program <laughs> using my identity, okay? So if you're using your own server, remember that this doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work. You have to install the SUEXDAC module, okay? Yeah, what happened is nowadays uh, this, this guy seems to be a uh, okay. okay? So uh, how about a uh, user input uh, using a uh, form submission, web searching, or uh, file upload? Uh, Jimmy, we will talk about a uh, HTML component map it to CGI. Yes, okay, so here we talk about it. I don't need to talk about it, okay? So basically, uh, when you are want to submit things, okay? So let's say you want to submit things. Wow, very dangerous, huh? Is it because of my phone? No. Wow, oh, this is a bad guy. Okay, wow, my wow. <laughs> Any remote, any any Bluetooth keyboard? Okay, so uh, let's say I'm doing a uh, Okay, so let's say I'm doing a Google search. Let's say I search T Y Wong. Okay, so if you can, say there, there. Okay, <laughs> of course B. Okay, oh you can try again. Okay, try uh, try this guy. <laughs> Still me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, does not not for show off. Okay, what if I I do some something bad? Okay. So let's look at the part uh, after here, okay? So usually we, when we are going to, uh, don't look at my icons, okay? Yeah, when you <laughs> want to submit things, okay? Basically the web, the, the, you know, the browser, the browser will append a list of things. It will append a list of things starting from the question marks up to here. So basically uh, the Google search is like this. The main component is this, the Q equal to a name, right? So what? A, what? How about I press enter here? Okay, it's it's become something like this. It's because uh, it's disobey what what he thinks should be right. Okay, so I just uh, go back here. So this string is basically being generated while I have a uh, press enter, and we call this we call this a get method. Okay, so the get method basically you generate this. If it press enter on the URL bar, it will become a U. This is a HTML, oh no, HTML, HTTP, HTTP request with a special header. And what is that header? The special header is called query string. Okay, the special header is called query string. So how can we know? How can you know? So very simple. I go back to my, yeah, this is my previous demo. I press. Uh, environment .c. so I need to open this guy up so that I purely execute this CGI right so I can try in front of you I, oh, how, how, how to go back okay so what do you want question mark ty1 equal to so set okay now I press enter good so it's finished processing let's look at one of the environment variable called query string. So can you see this? Can you see this here? The query string is equal to ty1 equal to so set. So this is what I type. So it's basically copy and paste all the things after the question marks to create 
to this field, and this field is generated while you're reading the environment variable. Okay, so this is it, reading from the environment variable. Okay, and this will become another version if you're doing one special type of form submission, we call it post form submission. Okay, so you should experience this. If you type something, okay, and press enter, now after you press enter, you want to go back, it will ask you, do you want to confirm to reload something? Then there's a signature of using a post method. Okay, so the post method, the only difference is, what happened if I, if I type, I just, I don't know how to use map. Okay, well, okay, it suddenly become like this. Okay, the only difference is the security string content no longer become an environment variable, but put it into the input. While it's becoming an input, that means that into your program, it become a standard input stream. That means that you need to use, uh, if it's a C program, you need to use scanf, okay? You need to use uh, fgetS, so and so forth, in order to read this, okay? So I just uh, do a very simple demonstration. The demonstration is uh, I have a form here. I should have a form like this, okay? So the get method HTML, okay? So it should be something like this, and the form is something like this. I, I'm sorry that I am lazy, I didn't type a double quote. Okay, it should be double quote here. And get method, and you execute the QV string dot CGI, okay? Later on you will see what is the content of a QV string dot CGI. I use C to write it, okay? So let's say again, I type TY Wong, so set here. Yeah, I tell you this is so sad, although it's a password. Okay, press submit. Okay, it will know that the query string is something like this. Now look at the query string program. Query string program, again, I type ty wong, ty wong, so sad. Okay, so you can look at the query string program. Let me close this guy so that you can see it clearly. So it is very easy. My program is doing something like this. I include the environment variable here. Uh, basically, I assume that you know C. And then you do a loop over every environment variable string and look at before um, the end of the environment variable set, I use string n compare to look for my target. So, what is my target? Here is right. Okay? So, I just scan each byte, I mean, uh, every uh, guy's one by one until I find a target. Now I find a target and copy and paste the, the point that I stop here and print it out. Okay? Any questions? Can you, can you understand this program? Okay, should be no problem, right? So basically this program is very easy, depends on the environment variable. Now, another is what if I'm using get post method? Okay, what if I'm using post method? Then I need to change a bit. I said that the post method is to have the same string, but coming from a standard input. Now, I use one very e easy call. I call it, uh, where is it? Standard. Here? Oh, F read. Okay, here, F read. Okay, so what is the meaning of every? Every is just a read, read something into the buffer, each time with one byte, uh, how many bytes, uh, size of buffer, so many bytes, okay, I have a big buffer, and then read it from the center in, that's all. Okay, so I know that this is a request method, if it is from a post method, then I will use this program to read from the center in, and output the string. Now, I try in front of you. So how to use my program, my, my demo program is, the first is the key, this is the key, and this is the value. So finish one pair of key value pair. If you want to stop, just press enter. Then it will stop. Eh, get method? Oh, sorry. I should pair, pair it up with a form, okay? If I pair it up with a form, then you can see that a method is post method. TY Wong, so sad. So it will become TY Wong with this uh, few type input, okay? Name is called login ID. And this field is, the type is password, the name is a login password. 
So when I submit it, so you will see the spring from the standard input is something like this. Okay, the whole string is here. So should should not be any question, right? This is a strict usage of uh, what I just said. Any problem? Anything you get lost already? Okay, good. So basically, uh, while well, no matter you're using the get method or post method, unless you upload a file, okay? If it is just a simple query or a simple form submission using test, you will, by the end, generate this thing. Generate this thing. I don't know how long it is, okay? But always in this format, a key with an equal, key with a value, key with a value, separator of this uh, and another input value, key value pair, key value pair, and key value pair, and key value pair, okay? So, what is my goal? My goal next is to tell you that basically we need to cross this guy. So what is the meaning of need to cross this guy? Okay, so uh, this is the example. I don't know whether you've seen this before. I can try this. Uh, Google search. So let's say I look for uh, Python. Okay, Python and so that I type something normal. Then I type something abnormal, backslash x, zero, zero, yeah, like this. Okay, so let's look at the QE string. Look at the QE string, the Q part, wow, it's out of the screen. Okay, so here is the Q part, the QE string part. How to encode this, how to decode this? Wait for a moment. Wow, what happened? Okay, so this is the string. This is the string. Do you know what it is? <laughs> okay, so the Python thing, you know what it is, right? Python, you already know what it is. So what is plus? Plus is a space, then what is percent 27? Uh, uh, what is that? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Man, ask him. Okay, so can you find this 27 in this map? Is it what you think of? If it's 27, what is it? This guy, well, what was that? It seems to be not, right? Next. Has the decimal, 27, where is it? Here. So there's that, okay? And how about next? So I know this is this, wow. Okay, and percent 27 means the ASCII code, 27, it has decimal code, percent 5C. 5C, where is it? Where is it? Slash, okay? Best slash, okay? What else? Present 5C and then what? And then X, right? Symbol X, symbol zero, symbol zero, and then present 27, okay? Can you write a symbol where we do this? <laughs> so they are, huh? Wait, a symbol where we do it? Okay? Yeah, it's supposed to be a, an easy job, right? But uh, I mean, uh, if you're doing a web programming, I will say that every time you will need to process this string, okay? So why is it being encoded like this? Now look at this diagram. Why is that? It's because of this guy. It's because of this guy. The query string is embedded in the header, okay? So the header is a part of the HTTP protocol. There are Keywords or a character, I shouldn't say keywords. There are characters that should be uh, forbidden. What, what are the characters? Like, uh, can you put an extra space there? You should know. You can add a special space here. You cannot, uh, let's say, in my query, there is an enter. What if I place an enter in this part? So the entire HTTP protocol will be broken by your input. 
So the enter has to be encoded into a, what is it, percent, gen 20, 32, I can't remember. Percent or 20, I can't remember. Okay, so it's have to translate into another code so that it can put into here, okay? So the same encoding happened here. Now, what is going on? What is going on? That means that your program has to understand this, this bunch of things and hopefully we can process all the things, convert it, and make it become an array. Hope that it becomes an array and an array, the array key is no longer an <laughs> integer index. I want it to be a variable name that I define. I want it to be a, some values. So I want it to be basically a string mapped to a value. Can we do that in Z? Sorry, unless you implement hash table. Okay, by yourself. So, I mean, uh, basically we will leave C, okay, for sure, okay? If this course is going to tell you uh, how to do C, okay? Write C in uh, assignment one, and assignment two also, also use C, assignment three also use C, okay? Then no one will take this course, okay? So we will jump to the next programming language. I, I hope that I can teach you well, because I'm not very experienced in this language, okay? <laughs> I hope that I can I can do this. Uh, basically, I, I skip one one page. Right? It's called about a get method and post method. Uh, you can read it by yourself. Basically, the get method and post method is very, I mean, uh, very similar. But I I mean there is a one very important thing. The important thing is uh, let me show you. Let's say I use this get HTML form. Okay. So I open up this iframe, open up this iframe, go. So I zoom in a bit so that you know what I'm doing. So let's say this form is to log in, okay? You don't know what is my password, but you know this is my default one. Then I submit it, okay? So it's because the, the program betray me, the program show all the details, but Let's say the program don't show you the details, it's just going through the normal login process. Look at the URL. If it so happens that you are doing a subsensitive data transfer by using get method, the password will show there. Okay? Yeah, I, I don't know whether it is, a, it is a trivial to you, but uh, some people are uh, every year in a hot. I don't know about this, okay? Yeah, there are. Well, because I, I, I was okay, young, okay, I look into some sensitive sites, I still find that in the old days there are some sensitive sites doing something like this. Okay? They think that people don't know. But you know, there are some naughty guys like me. Okay, so that, wow, interesting, okay. Okay, so that's it about this part. I will switch to another part.